Gal, right back at you with another tutorial. Welcome back guys. What we're going to do on this young gentleman right here is we are going to do a high top razor fade flat top on top. So it's a high top razor fade flat top on top. So what I'm going to get started with here, here real quickly is uh, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my first guideline guys and I'm going to start it off using my GTX and these GTX trimmer. Uh, this GTX is skeletalized and um, basically I just have a regular uh, long tooth uh, uh, GTX blade uh, on, on this uh, uh, trimmer. So as you can see it cuts like butter guys. Uh, normally I use my um, balder to do this but on this gentleman I just decided to use my trimmer. And you can see it just cuts it down like butter. Just making creating my first guy line all the way around the sides guys. As you can see. Uh, um, this kind of haircut is uh, uh, is kind of an old school haircut that, that I don't know a lot of you guys are young, but back in the day there was a movie called uh, there was this youngster called Kid and Play. It was a it was a 90s uh, show, 80s and 90s, and uh, there was a kid called Play, Kid and Play, and he had a, a, a high top razor fade like this. It was a high top fade, uh, and, and it was all the way to the top, and it was flat on top. So that's what we're gonna try to recreate right here. So as you can see on the sides right there, it's kind of round already. So it, it, it's kind of a, a kind of like an eraser look, kind of going out towards the outside. So what, what I'm gonna do now that I created my guideline all the way around is I'm gonna start right here. And what I like to do is I start off. I, whenever I do a haircut like this on uh, on ethnic hair or, or should I say black hair, I always use my ostrich. And the reason why is it just cuts easier through it. So what I'm starting right here is I'm starting with my 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 oster my model 10 and i'm using my one and a half blade and basically i'm just going right up the sides right there and i'm just going up the sides and then and, and when i hit when i hit the corrado ridge what i'm doing instead of following it in i go all the way up and i just instead of following the corrado ridge i go straight up and i'm just creating that wall right at the sides as you can see i'm already blending not so much blending it but i'm so much just just creating that wall and smoothing it out so it goes straight up as I'm taking away that angle that it has on the sides, just going straight up with it. So when you're using your one and a half, uh, what I use that is I, you know, I kind of consider this kind of like you gotta mold the, sh the the hair. So once you once you take the the sides down to a one and a half, you're basically molding the side of the head and molding it straight up. So right here I'm using, uh, once I went with my, I'm going with my one and a half, now that I went with my one and a half, what I did is I changed my blade and I put it on my 1A, my 1A. Now there's a one, between the one and a half, there's a 1A and then there's a number one. So the 1A and I'm taking it up, but not as high as I went with that one and a half. Just keeping it a little bit lower. And as you can see, it's already kind of blending now, guys. It's that simple. So now that I've changed my one and a half, my, my one A blade, now I put my number one on. This is my number one detachable blade. So I went with my one and a half first. After I went with my one and a half, I went with my one A, and now I'm going with my number one. And my number one, I'm only going up halfway up. Not as high as I went with my one A. And you can see it's already starting to blend out. It's already lightened up. Uh, from here, now I grab my my uh, my uh, five star senior cordless, and with my my blade all the way open, no 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 no, no attachment, just blade open. That's a half, and I'm creating a guy liner. And it's a very light guy liner, as you can see right there. As I go across, I lower my lever a quarter of the way, and I bring it up only halfway up. See that? Only halfway up. Now I lower my blade, my, my handle a quarter more, quarter more, and I'm only going to be hitting the bottom line right there. So now actually what I put right there is I put on my half clip, my half clip, and my half clip, and, and I'm just basically just dabbing that center line right there, just trying to get it out. Now I took off my clip and I'm working on fading that line out. Just basically opening and closing your machine, guys. Just you know, that's it's as simple as that. That side's already done right there. So once again, here I start off with my one and a half, my detachable one and a half, Oster detachable. 
catch for one and a half guys. Guys, I cannot stress to you the importance of using Ostra Blades. If you guys are not using Ostra Blades, I can't even, I can't, I, I noticed that a lot of young barbers don't even have an Ostra. And, and to me, I don't understand that is, that's like, kind of like being a cook and not having a pan, you know, or not having, you know, a, a spatula or something, you know, like, you have to have the right tools, guys. You know, get yourself an Ostra. So what I'm doing right there is going up with my one, one, my one and a half, and I'm basically the bottom, the lower part, around the crown, I'm just making sure it's all one and a half. And once I hit the Corrado Ridge, I'm going straight up with it. Again, this is a high top, flat on the sides, flat on top, razor fade. So we're right there, we're going with a one and a half. So now that we went with a one and a half, now again, I'm gonna put on my one A, my detachable one A. And you can see it right there, I'm going up and not as high as I went with my one and a half, just a little bit lower. You can see the bottom already fading out. My 1A. Guys, you guys should have all these blades. You guys should, there's only like five or six blades on the detachable blades. You guys should have them all on your kit. It should be part of your station, trust me. If you do not have them, invest in them. Uh, now I went to my one, my number one Oscar. And again, I'm only going up halfway, a little bit lower than I went with my 1A. Uh, just a little bit lower. You can see it's, the fade's already taking form right there. Now I'm going to grab my, my uh, five star lever open i'm going across and i'm only going up almost to where i went with my one it's a little bit lower and as i go across i lower my lever a quarter of the way and i go across one more time then i lower it there i lowered it a quarter of the way and i'm going back the other way now i'm going to close it all the way and i'm focusing on the bottom line just trying to fade that bottom line push it up push that shadow up and you can see the fades already taking place right there simple as that guys it so now we move on to the next side right here guys as you guys are those of you guys that follow my videos you guys already know that the way I fade I fade in three sections I fade one side that is the right side first and I do the back side then I do the left side so here we are on the left side now so again we start off about one and a half detachable blade same as I did on the other sides and um, you know guys I find it easier to just fade this way to keep myself in um, to keep myself in, in, in uniform by not going from all the way around the head I I, I, there, I know there's different ways of everybody doing it but this is the way I do it I find it this is the way I was taught so this is how I always teach everybody so right here I'm going with my one and a half and you guys can see it I don't follow the Corrado Ridge in if you follow the Corrado Ridge in you're gonna take away from the, the wall of the hair so you're just going right off the sides and going straight up now follow the Corrado Ridge. You're going, it's like you're going around the crown to the top of the crown and then following and then just going straight up with the machine. Even right there you can see that I even take it up straight up in front of the forehead. Because it's going to be straight walls all the way up. Once I did that with my one and a half, now I'm going to change over to my 1A. 1A. I'm going to go up. Not at quite. Not as high, but almost to the same spot where I went where I went like upper part of the crown now I'm gonna change over to my number one blade number one the one blit one blends into the one a the one a blends into the one and a half now I'm going my number one and I'm only going up halfway up as you guys can see the fates almost just right there already now I'm gonna grab my five star cordless lever open no clip to half and I'm gonna go up halfway as I go across I'm gonna lower my lever a quarter of the way and I'm gonna go across one more time as I do is I drag my blade I drag and pull up then I close it a quarter of the way more and I'm just gonna try to focus on that bottom shadow just trying to push that bottom shadow up now I close my lever all the way and I'm just trying to push that bottom shadow up. there's no line on the bottom that simple the fade's pretty much done guys from here on it's just kind of uh what i like to do now is i'm gonna like with all my customers whenever i do a fade i always shave them 
I always shave everybody, guys. Even little kids. If I get, if they get a zero for me, they're gonna get shaved with my Bronze Series Nine. I use the Bronze Series Nine, guys. If you guys don't have a Bronze Series Nine, I suggest you guys get one. Uh, if you guys are using an Andes or a Wall, that's fine. They work great. I mean, don't get me wrong. I started with those. I like them a lot. I, I still. I just, matter of fact, I just bought one today. Uh, because there's certain customers that like those more, but uh, I, for me, the Bronze Series 9 is there's no comparison, guys. I mean, just look how quickly I'm shaving that hair. And I mean, I take off this thing, takes off all the shadow. Uh, you don't even have to take it down completely to a zero. If, you have, if they had hair stuff there, it would, it would mow it down for me if I wanted to. So, the Bronze Series 9, if you guys don't know about this machine, I suggest that you guys look into it. Uh, it's a game changer. Uh, for me, when I don't have this machine, it, like a while back my blade broke and I was using it in my regular one, it, 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 to me there's no comparison, uh, it, it slowed me down using the old wall kind, uh, so um, the 5 star, but you know, it, it, it is what it is, uh, um, if you guys don't want to invest in this, and uh, um, but if you're looking to invest in a good, good shaver, Bronze Series 9 guy, highly recommend it, I did a review on it, check it out. Okay, guys, so from here on, we're uh, uh, done with the fade. The fade's completely done. It's already razor faded around the sides. So now from right here, what I'm going to start up is I'm going to start working on uh, the, the lineup in the front. So remember, the front is still spongy because it was, uh, uh, if you remember, it was the, 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 the it was a little round. It was like eraser-ish around the edges and everything. So right here, what I do is I grab my GTX blade, and I'm just going to use it, and I'm going to go straight up the top. And I'm just shaving, and I, basically what I'm doing is shaping up the front, because the front is bungee coming towards me. So what I'm doing is just shaping up the wall, going straight up the, to the front. And if you guys notice, guys, I don't do the whole forehead. I stay on one side. This is the same way that I do my, my lineups. When I do my lineups, I don't go from front all the way across when I'm standing on one side of the forehead. I do one side first. As you guys can see, I do one one corner, and then I'm going to turn them around, and I'm going to do the other corner. And remember, guys, if you guys, for you guys that are just starting or just learning about doing lineups, um, uh, I'm sure your your barbershop has business cards there. A business card is a good little tool to use as a as a as a guide to see that your lineup is coming out nicely squared. You can use that corner of the business card and just place it right in front of the forehead, and that'll show you that if your lineup is nice and in corner, so you're getting a nice crisp 90 degree corner. You don't want a corner that's at a you know one 100 degrees. It looks ugly. It just doesn't look right. So you can see right there on one side, it's already almost taking shape. I'm just shaping out that front, making it look nice and smooth. You can tell the difference from the other side now. And like I always do, I do one side first, and then I do the other side. So now what I do here is I spin them around, and now I'm standing on the other side. Same thing, I'm gonna start off by shaping up the front first. Just going up with my GTX trimmer, and I'm using it. This is all freehand, guys. There's no guide here. There's no, no, you know, I can't bring out a ruler and this is all, all by, by hand, you know. It's all by eye, it's like eye in it, you know. This is to the best of my ability. And, you know, and, and I don't ever claim to be perfect. I don't claim to be doing perfect work. I mean, this is just my version of, of, of a high top razor fade. Uh, uh, no, there's many versions, many uh, people do it different ways, but this is the way I, I, I know how to do it. And, and, and that's okay, you know, the way you do your haircuts is, is uh, you know, it's going to be fine. Everybody's going to find their own system of cutting hair. Once you find your own system of cutting hair, then you're going to be off good because, you know, like all you can do is take something from, learn something from me and run with it, you know, and, and develop your own system of, of doing these haircuts. So right here, you can just see, I, I'm using my trimmer bait, and I'm just going straight up the sides, just shaping it out, shaping it out, and, um, you know, and basically blending in my lineup from the other side to this side, making sure that it all looks symmetrical. So guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the top. The top's going to be flat. Um, you know, it, it, I, I, as much as I want to make it as flat as I can, uh, you know, it's it's always it comes out a little bit roundish. So what I do, like, just as I do the lineup, I do one side first. So I start off from the front, I turn them towards me, as you guys can see. 
myself, I'm not the type of person that jumps from side to side, so I always stay in the same side. I stay behind my customer and I turn my chair. So as you can see, I'm facing my customer from the side and, I, and I'm just going from the front to the back. And I'm just leveling it all out. And, and guys, this is all freehand, you know? There's, I mean, they sell these flat top combs, but they don't work. I mean, I, I don't believe in them. Uh, this is the way I was taught to do this haircut. And you know, and in, in reality, guys, this haircut was never really taught to me, you know. This haircut, I kind of went from watching videos and, and, and um, you know, getting the opportunity to do this haircut. And when the opportunity arose, arose, I just jumped on it. I, I, I didn't, I, 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 I said I could do it. I, I know I could do it. And I did it. And every time I've done it, it's come out better and better. And, and the, my point is that, you know, you can't be scared to do try try these things. You have to go out and, and just do it. Because if you're going to be scared to do a, a, a high top razor fade, then you're never going to learn how to do it. How are you ever going to learn? You know, and um, the best thing to do is, is, is use all the skills that you know and, and, and try to do it the best that you can. And, and you know, it, the first time it might not come out perfect. But if you keep trying and trying and trying, I guarantee you eventually you're going to polish out into something nice. Like this haircut right here, I've, I've already done it probably... I would say I've already done it uh, maybe 10, 15 times already. So, you know, it's not the first time I've done it. So that's why it looks so nice. I'm sure the first couple times that I did it, it didn't look as good. So it just keeps getting better and better. And it's just all by practice. And that's my point of this whole thing, you know. And so right here, what I'm doing, guys, is I'm just basically shaping it out. The top's already flat. The sides right here, I'm just spinning around. And I'm just doing little touch-ups. And it's like I said, this is all freehand. You could use any machine for this. You doesn't, it doesn't have to be a trimmer. Uh, you could use your. I could use my five star closed. I could use the. Uh, um, some people use uh, the the uh, uh, Oster to do this, but I just chose to use my trimmer because my trimmer is so sharp that it just cuts everything nice. And, and I just, with it being scalarized, the angle that I could come in at, it, it's just very comfortable for for doing a shape out like this. You know, guys, I'm 49 years old, so I got to see these kid and play movies, and, and never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I would be cutting, a, a hair, doing a haircut like this. Never did I ever think that I'd be able to be able to do a haircut like this. Um, not because I don't think I can do it. It's not because I was never, I never thought that I would be doing this like this. And um, and it just goes to show, it's just determination, and and, and anybody could do this. Anybody could do this haircut, guys. Uh, you just got to give it a try. Don't be scared. Keep trying. Keep working on your skills. And uh, everything will come to through. Every, every, everything will come together, you know. It is, believe me, nobody starts off good. It, it, it just, it's like anything. You have to just grind. Grind every day. Grind. Get up. Go to work. Grind, grind, grind. And uh, eventually, you, you know, you're going to polish that into a diamond. And, and um, that's what I do every day. I get up every day and I just grind. And I just do the best that I can and try to please all my customers and make everybody happy. And that's what this name of this game, the name of this game is, is customer service and being here for our customers. So at this point, guys, this, this haircut is pretty much done. Um, all I'm going to do is clean up his neck right here, go over it one more time with the Bronze Series 9, make sure that, that everything is detailed and everything is nice and cleaned up. Um... You know this this haircut will, in, in real uh, as you guys noticed in this video I didn't speed it up at all I actually did this haircut in real time and, and the reason uh, I do this, I've been doing these videos like this is not to just take up 22 minutes of your time but to prove to you guys that you know if you guys work smart efficiently and quickly you could get these haircuts out pretty fast you know like this haircut only in real time it only took me 23 minutes and um. And, and, and it's a nice haircut, you know, so uh, uh, just, just just trying to show you guys that it, different ways of cutting and, and and as you guys get better and you guys develop your own system of cutting, you're going to get faster. Don't worry about being fast now. Worry about being good now. Eventually, the speed will come, but you got to get good before you can get fast. The speed comes later. So, you know, that's just my advice for this haircut. Don't give up. You know, don't turn it away. You see this haircut come in your shop? Jump on it. You have to try. If you don't try, you'll never learn. That's my biggest. That, that, that's my biggest peeve. Is you gotta. You you have to try. If you don't try, you're never gonna learn it. But guys, that's it for this haircut. 
I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, if you guys have any comments, please leave them below. If you guys want to see any type of haircuts, let me know. Let me know what you guys think about this haircut. Let me know what you guys think how it came out. For you, some of you barbers that know more about ethnic hair, let me know what you guys think of my technique of doing this. I would love to hear what you guys think. This is just my version of this haircut, and, and you know, and I'm sure there's a lot of different versions out there, but um, all right, boys and girls, that's it for this haircut. I appreciate you guys watching and tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next video. Grind on, guys, grind on. Hey guys, in case I didn't tell you, hey, don't be watching my videos in if you're not subscribed. Make sure you guys subscribe and click that little bell button so you guys get a notification every time I drop a video. I got a lot more uh, tutorials coming up. I vlog daily and I got all kinds of things that I put up there, guys. Check it out. I'm here to help and if you guys have any questions, let me know. Lates.